guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be going to a small lake about 10 miles from my house, getting ready to take off and leave. Got the kayak loaded up, got ice in the cooler. Uh, I'm targeting crappie today, but also the thing I like about this lake I'm headed to is there's a lot of red ear sunfish in it and some really nice bluegill. I'll probably just be keeping red ears and crappie today and let the bluegill go. But hopefully we can get on some fish. We've had some really nice weather in Missouri here lately. It's felt more like October than early August. So we've really been enjoying that. The thing I'm, I like about my area is we have a lot of small reservoirs, 40 to 70 acres. And then we have a lot of really big reservoirs like Truman Lake, Stockton Lake, Lake of the Ozarks. And we also have some rivers. So there's always something to chase and always some kind of fish to catch. Well, let's see if we can get on. Ah, right, we made it to the water. And the water is up pretty high from the last time I was here. It's pretty murky. Well, as you can see, I have a, a hummingbird. He looks five there. Uh, I use all Scotty mounts. That's a Scotty transducer mount. It goes up and down in and out of the water so if you're coming into some logs or something like that or it's getting shallow you can lift it i lift it when i'm pedaling because it's drag i don't want drag um, i use scotty rod holders and the uh, universal mounts there you can put any other tools in them uh, my kayak has the the impulse drive which i really like so far i've had this boat for about six months and I'm really enjoying it so far I like to have one rod with two 32nd ounce jigs I have a red and green a black and chartreuse and a lot of times to locate the fish obviously I'll use my helix but I also just like to cast this out behind me and let it drag until I get some bite I got some flats up here straight ahead of me or I often have a lot of luck. They like to suspend in these late summer months out in these flats. One thing I like about having this pedal drive versus my 10 foot kayak that I, I still have but I don't use it as much anymore is I love being hands free. I can hold my fishing pole instead of paddling and I can steer with my left hand. It's so nice to be able to have your hand free. Well, I'm getting into an area here where I know traditionally there are a lot of crappie this time of year. So I think what I'm going to do is quit the trolling for now and just kind of drift in the wind. And I'm going to cast. Crappie are real finicky fish. You can throw a lure with a certain retrieval, no bites all day, but you give it a little bit of action and you can limit out quick. You just got to figure out what they want, what they're liking. Try different things. Try slow retrieval, fast retrieval, fast action, slow action, no action. Just got to get them figured out. Oh, missed him. one. That didn't take long on a troll. I don't think it's going to be a crappie, but nope, it's a sidewinder, bluegill. But it's a fish. Get out of here, buddy. There's a crop. Now this is about average size for this lake. Good eight or nine inch. That's 
they're a little overpopulated in here, so I don't hesitate to keep these guys. Try and thin them out a little bit. He is going to go in the cooler. Another nice crop. Man, when you find them and you figure out what they're wanting, it can be a blast out here. Sometimes you just gotta look a while. Another nice one for the box. There he is, right by the boat. We are on the crappie, guys. That's a nice one. That's a decent fish. Solid 10 incher. Another thing I do, which I should probably start, I have this clicker. I put three in the box now. It helps me keep track. And the limit out here is 30. So you definitely don't want to go over that. So I use this. I have it tied to my boat so I don't lose it. It helps me keep track of how many fish I have. guys that feels like a nice bluegill nope that's a nice crappie with them in and they're running big today for out here there we go now the reason I get away from using stringers in my kayak is because it creates a lot of drag when you have a big long stringer hanging off and it makes you want to turn to one side or the other so I started using a cooler with ice. It keeps the, the fish nice and fresh till you get home or get back to the dock to clean them. Now there's a few brush piles out here at this lake and if you can get right over the top of them, you are usually on the fish. Sometimes I gotta move around a little bit to find them again, but as you can see a little bit ago, I was on them. Oh. Dang it, they are nibbly today. about that nibbly but I'll take this time to show you guys what I do in my kayak I don't like carrying my big bulky tackle box I like to keep it simple this is all I bring when I'm crappie fishing just one little box has everything I need in it a few different size jig heads uh, several different colors this is what I'm getting them on today I think every crappies well maybe I had one on that but they seem to be liking the black and chartreuse squiggly tail today this is all I carry when I crappie fish That's a nicer fish, guys. That's a real nice fish. He's pulling some drag. It might be a catfish. Either that or it is one heck of a crappie. I'm saying this is a bass or a catfish. It's got to be a cat. Easy 
buddy. Easy, buddy. It is a bass. It's fun. I'm not much of a bass fisherman, so if you're watching my channel, you're not going to see a whole lot of bass fishing. I love my crappie. I love my catfish. In the early spring, you'll even see me do some snagging for spoonbill. And there will be a lot of hunting. There's a little guy right by the boat. He's a little too small for what I'm looking for today, but it's a crappie nonetheless. We're on him. I foul hooked him anyways. That's not a legal fish in Missouri. He's legal size at this lake, but a foul hooked fish is not a legal fish in Missouri. I'll let him swim. There he is. Another little peanut. He's fair hooked, but he's uh, a little small. He's only about six, seven inches. It is a crappie. Maybe next year, buddy. One thing about using a, a pedal drive in a kayak is you cannot go as shallow as you can in a typical kayak. You have to really watch your prop. My kayak has a uh, plastic cover there where you can see the prop when the water's a little more clear than this. It's kind of nice to be able to look down and see what's below you through that little clear plastic case. And if you do get in the shallow water, there's a couple quick releases right there and there. You slip those to the side and your drive pulls right out. There he is, right by the boat. That's a bluegill. You know I said I wasn't going to keep bluegill today. But this is a pretty nice one. And they are so good scaled. Take the scales off of them, gut them, cut the head off, and just fry them like that. They're so good. So This is a nice male. He's going to go in the cooler. Another thing about this lake, the crappie are a little overpopulated in my opinion, and they do. some of them do get stunted, but every once in a while you will catch an absolute slab out of here. I've seen guys catch 19-inch fish out of here. I think my biggest out of here is 16 inches, but I have personally seen a 17 caught out of here. Um, so they do get big in here. There are a lot of little ones, especially during the spawn off the dam. You catch a lot of little guys. That's why I don't feel terribly guilty about keep taking limits out of here. Another option I have in this lake, there's a whole bunch of standing timber towards the rear of the lake. I'm fishing the front right now, which is just kind of wide open mud flats. So if I'm not catching them as fast as I'd like out here in these flats, I can move to the back and there's a whole bunch of standing timber I can try and vertical jig for them in. There he is. Man, the bass are on it today. Not what I'm after, but I will take it. Hey there, guy. Hey there. We go. All is well. One thing that I really like about this kayak is the stability. I bought the 12 footer instead of the 10 footer because I wanted the option to stand up and pitch. I wanted to stretch my legs or get a better viewpoint if I'm in an area that has really clear water. But uh, a lot of times I like to stand up in this boat and pitch, which I'll go ahead and do for a little bit and kind of show you guys. It has a handle right here and a handle right here that you can use to pull yourself up. I don't usually need that, but yeah, as you can see, I'm make sure your angle's good. I'm standing right now and easily casting out of this boat. 
it does take a little bit of practice to feel good about doing this, especially on hook sets when you shift your weight real hard. But uh, make sure <laughs> make sure you practice when the water's warm. Could be a cold mistake if you don't. Another nice bluegill. Real good bluegill. I think he's going to go in the cooler as well. They're just too tempting. I think what I'm going to do is take a few more casts here. I'm not really seeing as many crappies as I'd like to. And if it doesn't pan out here pretty quick, I'm going to move back into that standing timber in the back of the lake and see if I can catch them out of the structure. Yep, I'm going to shut you off and move back there. Oh, oh welcome back, guys. I got a monster. Oh. Oh, no, I'm just joking. It's a snag. <laughs> That's the... Uh, downfall of fishing this timber that I was talking about is you get a lot of snags. They are biting quick, guys. In and out. But at least they're biting. So another thing I'll try sometimes, just to change up the presentation a little bit and give it a little slower presentation, I carry a few of these in my crappie box, just little weighted styrofoam bobbers. The water here is running about six to seven feet deep, and the crappie seem to be three to four feet down, which means I want this bobber about three, three and a half feet from my jigs. Doesn't always work, but sometimes it gives them the attraction that they need to take a bite. Like I said earlier, crappie fishing is all about changing your tactics and keeping, keep working until you find what they're trying to eat. And then with the bobber, you can give it different speeds, sharp jerks, light jerks, whatever. Figure out what those fish are wanting and go with it. We might be on to something here. He pulled it all the way under too. I believe it's a crappie. It is. It's a crappie. Alright, first cast with the bobber. Can't complain too much. Just shows you. You change your tactics up. Figure out what the fish are wanting. This is the first crappie I've had in probably an hour. Uh, apparently they're wanting a little slower presentation than what I've been giving them, so we'll keep this bobber thing going and see what happens. There he is. Little bluegill. That's catfish bait. Guys, good one. See if I can get him in the boat. He's barely on there. Whew, just in time. There we go. Another bobber fish. Change the presentation up. 
A lot of times I feel like you jig the bobber a couple times and then let it sit still for about a second. And usually when you let it sit still is when they hammer. Another one for the box. Oh man, he ran hard with it. He didn't know he was there until he about pulled the rod out of my hand. He's feeling like a big bluegill, maybe a reddier sunfish. That's exactly what it is, a bluegill. Pretty one. Look at the colors on that thing. Gotcha. There's a copy. There's one. That's what we're after. Maybe. Maybe a big bluegill. There's a big bluegill. I'll take it. It's been a while since I had a fish. He's an eater. Alright guys, well, unfortunately my battery's about dead, but I just want to say thanks for watching. And today was a very tough day out on this lake for crappie. I caught a few, caught enough for me and my wife and my kids to have dinner, mixed with some bluegill, uh, caught a nice bass. It was a fun day. It's not always about catching a bunch of fish, but that just shows you what we have to deal with sometimes. We had a lot of rain recently, and it really muddied this water up. As you can see, the water's pretty chocolate milky. But uh, this is a new channel. This will be my first video that I upload. If you like uh, Midwest hunting and fishing, I'm sure I'll have plenty of that to share with you. So hit subscribe, like the video, and tell your friends about me. I appreciate it. Hey again, guys. I just wanted to do a little segment here at the end. Uh, just got home and got all these fish out of the cooler, laid them out. Definitely got enough for a good meal tonight. Got my little helper here helping me. We did pretty good today. The crappie weren't biting super good, but that's all right. We got enough for dinner, and that makes people happy. <laughs> One, two. Tell my mind not to wander. Tell my mind don't get lost. Cause every time I let my mind wander, seems like my heart plays a call. So Yeah.